Hello everybody and welcome to East Coast Gamers Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. I'm Scuba Steve and today we are extremely blessed to have none other than the face and the voice of the Pandemonium Institute, master storyteller and all-around general badass himself, Ben! Ben, welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, and I'm looking forward to this because Bad Moon Rising is the best of the three core <laughs> scripts. Everybody knows it, uh, and we're about to prove it. Oh, I so love that you say that. I don't know how many people that we've actually converted. We've had a number of folks in our own community, um, like, I don't like BMR, and we've had them play games, and amazingly somehow, we always finish up all of our BMR games relatively early. So let's hope that streak continues. So. Um, I'm just going to pull up the choose and assign. So we do have an outsider of this game, which will be a lot of fun, which we've already selected. Um, oh, Traveler, you mean? Oh, sorry, yes, Traveler. Correct. Thank you for correcting me. Um, so right out of the gate, as far as townies go, we've got Grandmother, Sailor, Chambermaid, Exorcist, Gambler, Gossip, Professor, and then Outsiders being Tinker and Lunatic. Okay, I. How about we switch out that mastermind for a godfather, and then okay. add in a moon child. And who are we going to remove? Maybe professor, because they bring people back to life, and we don't want that. <laughs> you know, no. Hmm. No. I think we should keep the professor in because there's a shabaloth. Oh, mind you, the shabaloth. Yeah, no. Take professor out because then the shabaloth can bluff as professor, I suppose. Hmm. Um, Good point. We need to lose a another. Yeah, no, no, we're good, right? Yeah, I think so. So we've Grandmother, got. Yep. Yeah, sailor, chambermaid, exorcist, gambler, gossip, gambler, gossip, both causing deaths. Um, it's going to be. A, I, this has got all the hallmarks of a very fast game of Bad Moon Rising. <laughs> Let's hope I so. I think. Yeah, I think we should switch out the. Lunatic for goon. Switch out the gambler for the court oh, tier. Gambler. Just so that the good team have got some more. Okay. Oh, or have you already hit the button? No, no, no. We're still good. Yeah, maybe switch out the gambler for the court tier just so that the good team has, like, a bit more to fight with. Because at the moment, with all the outsiders, uh, they're just, I'm worried that they might struggle. Mm. I think that's, yeah, I think we're good. Hit, let's see what see where it lands. Do we want to keep lunatic? Yeah, keep it Okay. In. All right, here we go. Boom. Hmm. So we've got Amanda the Shab, Reaper as our assassin. Wow, that's two out of the three evil team from last time we played. <laughs> right, let me copy this down. And Emma Chambermaid. Ethan Milk. as our godfather. So I'm almost inclined... We also have to decide uh, what alignment we want the gangster to be. I almost think it doesn't matter because the gangster, the gangster, sort of like the empath right now. Like they're just surrounded by good people, so anyone they kill is going to be bad for good. Yeah, yeah. I think it might it might be worth making them good, uh, just for that very reason. They've got no access to to evil, so there's no real worry about them getting killed. Okay. Uh, hang on, I'm just copying this in. So we got. Jules Exorcist, Amanda Shabaloth. Uh, Sailor, Lunatic, Tinker. Sailor, Lunatic, Tinker. Okay, cool. So, first of all, you were going to want to switch out that um, that Lunatic there for a Shabaloth. Oh, hang on a second. I want to... Before you send that out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um... I'm just I think we gonna put this here to remind that it's a lunatic. So lunatic minions, I think that you've got to, in my opinion, when it comes to giving the lunatic the minions, you've got to either commit or not commit, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no point giving them one evil player and one good player because they're gonna speak to those people eventually. Mm -hmm. So, do we want to give them the demon and a minion as their minions? Hmm. I don't think we've ever done that. 
So yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we'll tell uh, the Lost that their minions are um, Reaper and Amanda. Shall we do that? Uh, yeah, because I think it's believable. Plus, they were the ones who were evil from last game, so... Yeah. That could This could go really well, or this could crash and burn relatively quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so we're making the gangster good. Uh, the grandmother's grandchild... Maybe we give them Emma, the chambermaid. Okay. Because that's going to be a high-profile target, but it's also really, really, really useful information to, to have that backed up for the good team. I don't think we've got any more prep that we need to do here, but we do need to pick three demon bluffs. So I went with Professor already because of Shab. Yeah, Professor... Let's go with Innkeeper, because it's always useful to be able to say, hey, your information might have been drunk. Okay. I had um, Gambler as another one, because it's one of those potential I gambled this person as, but we can yeah. always give them something more fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and then I think we're good to go, right? All right, yeah. Um, so one quick question. I've done this once before. Um, it was requested of me to do, because the, the question was asked, have you ever? Uh, and I mentioned that it was coming, and then in the game where it was an opportunity, the person who had the role almost demanded, they well, they insinuated they would be extremely upset if they woke up alive on day one, and that was killing the tinker immediately in the game. So I have done it one time, and it's also been brought up in chat, so... I think it's it's okay if the player is on board with it, right? Um, I think <laughs> normally I would never do that because A, it's no fun for the player, and B, uh, it confirms them as the tinker, which... Yep, that's the other thing. Yeah, It was like it's a reverse virgin kind of thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I think we should keep the tinker alive uh, because we can... If the, courtier, if the courtier does a good job and drunk Shabaloth, then the tinker's going to be useful for us in that situation. Right. All right, so yeah, that looks like everything so far. Yep. Uh, All right. Have you sent these characters out? I'm about to. Cool. And then we switch the shab back for lunatic, and we go visit. All right. Uh, I think if we start off with Amanda, uh, and tell, actually, uh, ooh, hang on a sec, let me think about this for a moment. So the lunatic goes first, yeah. So let's start off with Amanda. Let's give Amanda the bluffs, the minions, tell her who the lunatic is. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's do it. <clears throat> Hello, Amanda. Hello. No! <laughs> What's, what I'm seems like... to be the problem? <laughs> I'm not good evil. Okay, fine, fine, sure. You just, you've had a warm up, right? This is the this is the real deal. So you, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah. your min your minions, uh, one of them's also had a warm up. Are Reefer, Reefer? That's like a combination of the two, uh, Reaper and Ethan. Okay. Your bluffs cool. are Professor, Innkeeper, and Gambler. Okay. Thank you. And finally, the Lost is the Lunatic. Oh, awesome. Cool. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we go to the loss next so they don't get suspicious. Okay. So uh, I'll just come up with some bluffs on the fly, yeah? All right. Yep, that works. All right, let's do it. Hello. Hello. Okay. Here's your info. So, first of all, your fellow evils, your minions, are Amanda and Reaper. Amanda and Reaper. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Your bluffs are Minstrel. Okay. Pacifist. Ooh, good one. And Exorcist. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. So I, I like to mix in one that is actually in play sometimes, uh, because I don't think Jules is going to be 
particularly forthcoming about them being the exorcist. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, All uh, right. minions now, and then we've yep. got a lot of visiting to do. Um, yep. So, Reaper then, Ethan? Yeah, because Ethan's got to get more info. Okay. Hello, Reaper. The assassin. So, uh, yep, you're the assassin, your demon is Amanda, and your fellow minion is Ethan. All right. Excellent, thank you. No worries. Hello, Ethan. Hello. So, uh, your evil team is made up of people who were evil last game, so they're all warmed up and ready to go. Your fellow minion is Reaper. Your demon is Amanda. Uh, and we uh, will be sorry. back shortly to give you your Godfather info. Okay. Thank you. So, it is technically possible that both the sailor or the courtier could make Ethan drunk. Yep. So, we've got to visit those guys first. So, over to Aaron. Hello, me hearty. Who would you like to drink with? <laughs> oh, a pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and s uh, sail, sail the sea. Ah, yeah, for clear. <laughs> <laughs> Save the sails. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, uh, one, uh, one thing I want to confirm quickly. Um, it, uh, can I drink with a traveler? Does it have to be so, so, uh, someone else in the game? Assuming the traveler is still alive, of course. Absolutely. Uh, characters who can't interact with travelers have it specified in their ability. Okay. Well, uh, keep things simple. I know I know absolutely nothing. So I rolled a d12, got a six. So going clockwise for me, that gives me Kim. So I'd like to drink with Kim, please and thank you. Kim it is. You're welcome. All right. Have a great day. No worries. Ooh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Use Kim to back up a potential. Oh, right. How how likely do we think it is that Amanda's going to claim Professor? I I would not go on a limb and say Amanda will absolutely do that. Okay. If if, <sighs> if there's enough collective guidance, maybe. But I think Amanda's actually pr a little nervous. So it might okay. not it might not trigger. She's brilliant, so she could totally come up with it. Uh, I feel, I, do we roll do we do we roll the dice and tell the grandmother that Amanda is the professor? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about the entertainment value of giving them uh, like giving Kim a, a completely different um uh, like any of the other townsfolk, but Oh, wow. You know what? Because it's you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, another thing that we could do is we could um, we could tell Kim that the Lost is one of the three bluffs we gave them. That's true. But I think I, Let's roll the dice on Amanda. Let's see how it happens. All right. We are helping the evil team here. Worst case scenario, uh, Kim realizes that they're drunk. So, you know, let's do it. Let's tell Kim that Amanda <laughs> is the professor, but not yet. <laughs> Because first we've got to go speak to Jack. Yep. All right. Let's go see Jack. And then Ethan. Let's go. All right, Jack. I suspect that we know the answer to this question, but would you like to use it? Uh, I, I I'm tempted to only because uh, whenever I play in a game with Emma, I tend to get executed on day one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, if that happens, your ability is still not going to have that much use. Is it? <laughs> I guess that's true too. <laughs> Because, yeah, at this point, it's a shot in the dark. My <laughs> temptation it would be to use it on the DA if I could or if I wanted to. But I think I'll hold for one day. I hope I don't get executed. Okay. All right. Sounds good. See you later. Yeah. Okay, Ethan, we're back. Okay. So you learn that outsiders that are in play are Moonchild lunatic and tinker okay that's great i was going to bluff goon but that's fine <laughs> okay no worries uh good luck okay so now over to kim and we're going to tell kim that amanda is the professor mm -hmm. this is going to be awesome <laughs> Oh, 
Hello? Hello. Hello. So your sweet, sweet grandchild uh, is actually uh, not a sweet little child anymore. They've actually graduated. They've got a PhD. They're now a professor, uh, and their name is Amanda. Oh, my sweet, sweet granddaughter is is a professor. That's so nice. I know, right? Beautiful. Oh. Uh, well, I'm sure you're very proud of her, but we have other oh, house God. calls to make, so we'll catch you later. <laughs> Dr. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's hope that doesn't backfire because it's dawned on me that Aaron can just say, hey, you might have been drunk last night. And if Aaron is executed today, then Aaron knows that Kim was drunk last night. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's hope that doesn't it, happen. It also depends on the interaction, right? If Kim says, I'm your grandmother and I saw you but didn't say what she saw you at, it, it just depends on how that whole conversation goes, right? Because yeah, yeah. there's a yeah, lot that could sure. backfire. But if it goes right, wow, does that really help? <laughs> uh, right <laughs> don't look now but we've got 12 players to visit tomorrow night so uh prepare yourself for that yeah, but right. for tonight it's just emma that we need to look at all right let's go see emma hello emma and... so what are you thinking uh bunny and kim bunny and kim Bunny and Kim, and you learn that one of them woke tonight due to their ability. Thank you much. You're welcome. Alright. Okay, so, uh, Chambermaid wakes last on night one for BMR, so we don't need to kill any more time. Uh, Lieutenant knows that they're the good gangster. We should probably... Uh, when we wake everyone up, just announce that Lieutenant is the gangster and just read out what the gangster does on the off chance that some people aren't aware, or indeed some viewers aren't aware. Uh, but for now, that's all we got to do. Let's wake everyone up. All right, let's do it. You okay, Steve? Um, yeah, it's unfortunately stuck. I wonder if we had somebody in the beginning that left. That's okay. I'll man I've got a portrait orientation monitor. <laughs> I'll quickly bring everyone in and then you can, All you right. can down fire during the day. Good morning, you lucky, lucky people. Welcome to the best script, Blood on the Clock Tower, Bad Moon Rising. There are 13 of you, but only 12 of you are regular players, so do keep that in mind. This is a 12-player game, officially. Our 13th player, Lieutenant, is the gangster, whose ability reads, once per day, you may choose to kill an alive neighbor if your other alive neighbor agrees. So Z and Emma, be very afraid, because that's a very real possibility. Good luck, everyone. Have fun. The game has begun. Z, can we talk? Yeah. Quick PSA, the bot is not cooperating, so if anyone randomly gets yanked back to town, you know why. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Steve, may I get some quick consultation, please? Yep. Uh, hey, I assume I'm good, right? Correct. Uh, Steve? Yeah. Yes, you are correct. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. You got it. Thank you. Okay. Would you like our bluffs? Uh, sure. We have minstrel, pacifist, and exorcist. I think I'm just going to steal minstrel, so. Um... Which one would you like? Or you can have both of them. I don't care. Uh, right now I'm probably going to go pacifist. Alright, sounds good. I'll just note that on here so I don't forget it for a change. Alright. Alright, thank you. Oh, do you want to know our other minion? Uh, yes. Or your other minion? It is Amanda. Okay, good. Alright, sounds good. Cool. Oh, 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 
I'll claim some rolls. I'll I'll let you know that. <laughs> You know, you hard claim to me. You could be evil though, but uh, we don't know. But actually, I'll just hard claim back. I'll just hard claim back, and you'll see why sure. I'm a little nervous. I am the grandmother. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, Aaron, if you drunk to me, I'm sad. But it is what it is. You know. Uh, so. <laughs> Kim, my, uh, my if the, if that is the case, case, my my, uh, my apologies because yeah, uh, it's it's <sighs> all right. It's all right. You can drink with me every other night from now on if you want. Um, that's fine. It's well, it's fine. You can drink with me as much as you want now. Um, oh, yeah. I'm gonna find out if my grandchild is who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Kim. Fair enough. I think it, I think it's fair to say though. Uh, I don't believe I'll, I'll be able to die today because me me hitting night, a grandmother night one. That's too delicious of a treat for Steve and then uh, to, to pass oh, up. So, oh God, my my my, my grandchild. Kim. I was so drunk last night. I don't know who my grandchild is. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> All right, well, Kim, any night that you die, assume if you're not the only death, assume your grandchild was one of those. Oh, Lord almighty. <laughs> okay. Well, I might just advocate we try to kill you to see if I was drunk. Well, we see it. I'll try talking to my grandchild, my supposed grandchild first. Yeah, 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 Kim, if you want to put me on the block, I, no no objections from me. I, okay. I, I, will, I will happily support that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Permission claiming? Uh, sure, I, I'll give you two if you want oh okay um, yeah that's fine i'm either the professor goon <laughs> oh okay great i'm just i'm just gonna give you my hard claim which is exorcist did you have a question or were you just sitting out <laughs> uh, no, i'm just i'm just sitting here to uh get some things prepared basically ah uh, gotcha um Don't worry. <laughs> I, I, i've got a heck of a conversation between the the sailor and the grandma to tell you about later no, my God. Ethan. He, uh, he, he talks with me. Uh, you and him, me and you are minions for him. Uh, oh. I jokingly said DA. Okay. What are you? Assassin. Awesome. He thinks I'm the other minion? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to... I'm going to pretend to be um, Ethan's the... minion. <sighs> What are the actual bluffs? The bluffs are Professor, Innkeeper, and Gambler. I'm taking Innkeeper. Okay. And what are you offhand? Uh, Shabaloth. What is the uh, last thing? Uh, he didn't tell me what demon he was. Okay. Uh, can you repeat that? Can you repeat the uh, Innkeeper, Gambler? What's the other bluff? Professor. That's right. I'll take Professor. Okay. And he thinks that I'm the other minion? Oh yes. boy, why? God, okay. Okay, okay. so I, I jokingly said DA. He thinks that you're the other minion, but yeah, this is interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to tell him I'm Ethan's minion, which is Godfather. Okay. All right. Okay, thanks. No worries. Mm -hmm. This is rough mind a good one to do early yeah i did i did mastermind last time this is my third straight game with a um with uh, playing the courtier believe it or not i did the poe two games ago i did the mastermind last time and it would have worked but um oh yeah i was the mastermind that game yeah so and i put my demon <laughs> off the block <laughs> yeah good thing <laughs> so yeah so cavalier From... and i didn't even know okay um <laughs> I'll give you my hard claim. I'm the exorcist. Oh, okay. Um. All right. So I'll I'll, I'll do my best to save you today. If you'll do my best, or your best to save me, and we'll see where we can get. Uh, if we can both get our powers to, to work. At least once. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, all right. I am either I am either the goon, still good, or I am the fool. I love a good goon. I love a bad goon too, to be fair. <laughs> of course, goon, goon. A potential goon is just a fun time all around. It's so fun. You got a great mustache too. All right, I am either the grandmother or the gossip. Grandmother or gossip. Fascinating. Truly. Really? Okay. Very. Uh, no. Uh, very. Very. Very nice. I'll definitely. You're the innkeeper. I see. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
Well, yeah. good to know. I'm gonna go look for my grandchild. I can't believe Steve, I drank so much last night. <laughs> I don't know who, who my grandchild is. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Good, good luck. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Anywho! Bye! <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! Ah. <laughs> what a time! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, so that <clears throat> that conversation might have just saved... Uh, Alright, it's time for knobs. Welcome go. back We're everybody! Uh, I will give you all another minute to talk amongst yourselves before opening up noms on this beautiful day one. Last time well, I crashed, I was buying out of the grim. <laughs> um, because I don't want to take up time of discussion and nominations, I'm going to do it now. Um, Emma, would you like to kill Z? Nope. No, I expect not, but you know. Emma? No. Sorry. And there you have it. All right. I know this is a silly question, but does anyone have any leads? Not so far. Uh, not really. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to start off the gossip train. Bunny gossips, the demon is in the top half of the circle from Ethan to the lost inclusive. Gossip heard. Milk would like to gossip that gossip is a demon bluff. Gossip heard. Reaper uh, gossip. Go ahead, Aaron. Oh, so, sorry, thank you. So, uh, Aaron gossips that there is a godfather in play. Gossip heard. Reaper gossips that the outsider that the outsider count has been modified in some way. Gossip heard. Kim uh, gossips that the demon is a zombul. Gossip heard. Amanda uh, gossips that there is an assassin in play. Gossip heard. Uh, Emma gossips that between Bunny and Jules clockwise, there is no demon. Bunny and Jules clockwise, there is no demon. Uh, gossip heard. Ethan gossips. That the demon is either Milk Bunny, Jules, or Z. Gossip heard. All right, with that, nominations are open. Milk nominates Ooh. Reaper. Milk nominates Reaper. Milk, tell us why Reaper should be the first on the block. Let's get him, guys. <laughs> I mean, he did come at me. Reaper, your defense. Uh, Uno reverse. <laughs> All right, okay. seven votes required Powerful to defense. Uno reverse. <laughs> <clears throat> also, milk. It's my first game of BMR. Come on, man. <laughs> trying to welcome you properly. We only learn things by yeah. killing people. Yes, yeah, so this blood on the clock tower where death is not the end, so it's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. Three votes is not enough. Uh, Reaper nominates the Lost. Reaper nominates the Lost. Reaper, why should Lost be first to go? Uh, I had a very weird conversation with Lost day one. Uh, I jokingly played along. Uh, I have reasonably lost our lunatic. All right. Lost your defense. I was afraid of that, but hopefully I'm not because that would suck. All right. Seven votes required to put the lost on the block. Surely in this situation, the lost, you're hoping that you are the link. <laughs> yes. Giving the lost a chance. That's why I'm not voting. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Eight votes is enough. The lost is marked for execution. Second call for nominations. Uh, Ethan nominates Aaron. Ethan nominates Aaron. 
Ethan, tell us why Aaron should replace Lost on the block uh, today. This was a virgin check, and also I don't want my demon to die, so let's get Aaron. Let's do it. <laughs> Aaron, your defense. Um, well, uh, well, uh, I'm, you know, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not the virgin, so I can't, so I can't confirm Ethan. Um, Lost already has most of the town voting on him. I'd say keep, uh, keep the vote on him. Kill me, t kill me tomorrow if, uh, if you know, killing the Lost doesn't end the game. That's fine. All right, I believe nine votes are required to put Aaron on the block. Eight to tie. Uh, Reaper, did the Lost tell you uh, what uh, demon token he was shown? No. Ah, poo. Lost, are you willing to share that? <laughs> uh, well, we'll see if the game ends when I die. If it doesn't, I will. He is the zombie. Uh, there is not enough. It. <laughs> I would be interested in drinking with your character tonight, then. Um, by the way, if Town doesn't want um, a Godfather killed, then maybe we don't do this. But also, you can confirm a Godfather. Yeah. Uh, because I've heard of two other outsiders. Uh, possible the Godfather, yeah, the Godfather may choose not to kill, but um, we'll see. It would be funny if the loss was just the demon. Final call for noms. The Lost will nominate Milk. The Lost nominates Milk. Lost, tell us why Milk should replace you on the block today. Well, if I am the lunatic, I don't know how you run bluffs between the real demons and the fake demons but one of the bluffs I was given, Melkhard claimed to me. So that seems like a really suspect thing to do. Alright. Milk, your defense. I mean, I hard claim my role to you, so that just means that you're lunatic, so congratulations, you're not going to lose the game. <laughs> All right, eight to tie, nine to die. Oh, that's good. I'm stealing that. We stole it from you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have stolen that from Avian, actually. Oh, uh, no, skill? not the evil team. <laughs> <laughs> Three votes is not enough. Ah. Uh. If there are no more noms, we'll bring the day to a close in 10. Come on, bunny, you have to do something. So, oh, about this Kaboom script, then. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Not also, yet. PSA, if okay. everyone is randomly yanked out of their cottages at night, the bot finally uncorked itself. Because <laughs> it's still stuck. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and claim Spy and give the Grim. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the, goblin. the Lost <laughs> is executed and dies. And congratulations! The game continues. Everybody Aww. gets to go to sleep. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you to yeah, let's pull them all down manually. Do you want us just to go to our cottages? Yeah, yeah that works too. Yeah, yeah. If you guys could manually just go. I can't. Uh, Milk is in my cottage. <laughs> That's because he got yeah, forced um, in there. Reapers. There <laughs> oh, wow. What a game so far. <laughs> so are these guys able to see specific cottages? Um, they can apparently, uh, like right after you started that, they can see their own singular cottage. So they can actually yeah, go to their own cottage. The to work. Um, okay, that's. I mean, I don't know what you want to do to rectify that. Uh, unfortunately, if as in because occasionally this does happen. Um, it usually happens if someone's in the channel. Hey, oh, it looks like it's morning. working. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let the bot finish. The Yay! The okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bing! All right, there we go. Now everyone goes to cottages. Let's see. Come on, bot. Well, it, it fired the error, but it's still stuck. Aww. Come on, bot. Okay. Actually, now I think I can launch a new one. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be exposed. Some, someone drag I got it. I got so you. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Anymore. I got you. Yeah, we can't see our anymore. Sort of. Yay, that one works. Okay, cool. Well, at least most people won. It's a Discord limitation. You'll, you will get ejected momentarily. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, well, yay. We have potential for a lot of deaths tonight. There could be an assassin kill. There could be two shab kills. There could be a godfather kill. We can kill the tinker. Yes. Uh, Kim could possibly also die, die because her grandchild is Emma, even though she doesn't know it. So, interesting turn of events. Um, Amanda and Kim did speak. Amanda's very well aware that Kim is the grandmother. Amanda's hard-claimed innkeeper confirming that Kim was drunk because before that, Kim had a conversation with Aaron, who told her yeah. that they drank together. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Um, as you can already tell, the evil team did not take the bait to con to make the lunatic think they're the demon. No. Uh, so all of our all of our plans have been laid waste. <laughs> but it's not the matter because we might get a lot of kills now. Uh, but first and foremost, let's go see who Aaron picks. All right. Okay, Aaron, it's drinking time. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate's all right with me. Okay, so from what I uh, I talk I talked to my first night drinking target of Kim. Apparently she's claiming grandmother. So if I manage to do that, oh boy, that's that's a great, great way to start start things off. Um, tonight I'm gonna drink with someone I didn't speak to yesterday, just just for fun. Uh, let's do let's do milk. I like to drink with milk, please. Okay, milk it is. Thank you. So I'm inclined to make milk drunk. Um, okay. Because if they die, they might choose an evil player, which would be interesting. But also, I quite like the idea of Aaron surviving execution because it leaves open the possibility of a devil's advocate. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, FYI, um, Amanda has reached out just to let me know that something's going on at home, so she can't be uh, readily available on voice, so she's sending me her choices as demon kills. Oh, okay. That's all good. Uh... <laughs> Well, while she's doing that, should we go see Jack? Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully he doesn't pick Shab. <laughs> okay, Jack, you you were not even nominated yesterday. Don't know what you were worried about. <laughs> I talked to Emma first thing and made sure she didn't nominate me, so. <laughs> oh, fair play. Well, who do you want to use it tonight? I do. Um, my plan was to use it on the uh, Devil's Advocate after talking with a couple of people, but I think based on the conversation, plus the fact that the Lost is probably the lunatic, that we have a Godfather in play. And I therefore would like to use it on the Godfather if I could. Okay. Godfather it is. Thank you. Thank you. Smart choice. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, nothing much else to say about that. Clever, clever use of the ability. Yeah, uh, very good. Okay, no lunatic. So we're over to Jules. See who Jules chooses. Okay. All right, Jules, with your uh, briefcase, which is the classic sign of an exorcist, obviously. Uh, who would you like to pick? I think Bunny made the most irresponsible gossip possibly to cover something, so I'm going to fling my briefcase at Bunny's house. Okay, there we go. Take that, Satan. Alright, thank you, Jules. <laughs> okay, uh, obviously no effect there, um, but I've made a little note that Bunny's uh, chosen, just in case it becomes relevant. So, we can't visit Amanda. She's uh, currently not on comms, but who has Amanda chosen? She has chosen the Lost and Jack. The Lost, who is dead, and Jack. Oh, okay. So Jack dies, thus ensuring that Ethan's ability can go off. I was about to ask you to elaborate on that because the courtier went first. Yeah, the courtier uh, made Ethan drunk, but by when we get to Ethan's point in the night phase, uh, the courtier he will have become dead. sober again. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we remove those uh, the no ability and the drunk one things, uh, and yeah, we're now heading over <laughs> to Reaper, who might want to kill someone. Let's find out. But yeah. Reaper, are you going to stab or 
Are you someone who's going to bide their time? Or are you getting more coffee? I I am I did not go get more coffee. Don't worry, we're good. Just thinking hard. Um I think I'm gonna hold. Okay. Holding it is, thank you. Off yep. we go. Ethan, as you're no doubt aware, you get to kill someone. Uh okay, let's see. Uh I'll pick Z. Z. Or, why not? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Damn it! <laughs> um, but it does open up the gang. Oh, the gangster can now confirm, possibly. Yeah, can hard confirm Aaron. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. Not not ideal for us, but interesting. Uh, so well, and there's no gossip kill. And now we're dangerously close to, like, if Aaron goes, then the gangster can kill the demon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is a problem. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Moonchild not relevant, grandmother not relevant, so it's just Emma's chambermaid info now. Yep. Hi, friends. Hello. It's time to sweep some floors. Who's it going to be? You know... The very normal thing of sleep sneaking into someone's house at night, sleeping their floors and checking if they're under tucked into beds. So let's go with Milk and Ethan. Milk and Ethan. And you learn that one of them woke tonight due to their ability. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Very careful with the old chambermaid and make sure people are alive. <laughs> I've made yeah. that mistake a couple of times in the past. Um, yeah, so that's it. That is it. Let's... Uh, so we've got two deaths to announce, uh, just Jack and Z. That's interesting because uh, it's covered up a lot of the stuff that's going on. Amanda's yeah. deliberately attacked a dead player, um, which is, is covered up the shab, and Z's probably going to come out as the tinker, which has covered up the godfather. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so they'll I think they'll I think that this is a sharp crew so I think they're going to be open to both they're going to say well yeah that makes sense we probably had a single kill and maybe the tinker died to throw us off however they I think they'll still be open to it so we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah I think I I think they might suspect this is pucker or po uh, but yeah let's see what happens let's wait until tomorrow and if, if we don't get a ton of kills <laughs> <laughs> But again, if they end up, if they manage to execute Milk, which I think is unlikely, that and Reaper kills, then you got a Godfather, an Assassin, two Shab kills, and possibly Kim creating a fifth. That could be a bloodbath. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right, let's let them tell. Let's do it. Yay, bot. <laughs> Bot. Hi, bot. Yep, show the bot some love. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here to inform you that Jack has died in the night, and Z has died in the night. Mm. Uh, milk. Want to talk? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Well, Interesting. Um, I am the tinker, so oh, the role oh. I was hoping Enter for. Throw that into your world building. Yes, but you so can pop we, in the night. So we could have a one kill demon. We could have a kid two kill demon. Who knows anymore? Well, I was sh I was shown the shavaloth, so uh, Steve, oh. can I have a uh, storyteller console? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so um, <laughs> because I spent my ability theoretically before I died, if now that I'm dead, does that wipe it out? E if so, it, specific so, to your instance. So I'll, I'll answer it twice. As long as the uh, as long as it would have taken place before your death, then it would have been in effect. 
Your choice, however, happens after your death. As in, if if someone caused your death after you use your ability, and then the thing that you chose happened after that, then it would no longer be drunk because you're dead. Okay, so so basically, let's just say there's a puka in play. If I was the puka pick on night one, mm -hmm. then whatever I picked wouldn't have mattered. Correct. But if if not a puka, I it theoretically would have worked, but now no longer does because I'm dead. Correct. Ah, damn. All right. Okie dokie, thank you. All right. Uh, I drunk with milk. I'm oh, sorry. I chose milk to drink with just because I know nothing. I know nothing about him, and he was joking before the game about being the assassin, like before oh. rules were sent out or anything. So I'm like, you know what? Hedge my bets here. Drink with okay. milk. See, see, see what I see what happens. I've, I've marked him down as the assassin. <laughs> I, I, it, I just I want to stress this is based on absolutely nothing. I've still marked him down as the assassin. I think we right. kill Amanda and milk. <laughs> Amanda and Mel. So, 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 sorry, uh, why are we suspicious of Amanda? Oh, just because I saw her as my grandchild. And also, she was apparently one of Lost's um, minions. Oh, which, okay. Which I think, I mean, it's all just, it's all just silly, Willy. I know Steve always says don't meta him, but that feels like uh, something that would happen, you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, based on nothing else, yeah, yeah, I've, I've got, I've got no problem putting at least getting Amanda on the block, seeing what happens. I'll feel bad if she is what she told me she is, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> oh no, I just realized if Emma wishes, she can try and kill me, because of, uh, because of, uh, I'm not, I'm now the next uh, living neighbor beside Lieutenant. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <sighs> Help me. Uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe sure. you're, maybe you can't die. Yeah, if if that's the case, that would be hilarious. But that would be funny. I'm not, I'm not going to antagonize Emma. That 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 doesn't sound like a good time. So. Oh All yeah. Right. No, yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm the Exorcist. So. Okay. Cool. I'm Gambler. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. Good. I gambled myself last night because first time playing BMR and first time Reaper, playing Gambler. Buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, I yeah. I my first time playing BMR. I have to be cautious. You know, I'll go for you the. Have, like, you have, you have somebody you want to gamble tonight? Uh, in my conversation with Ethan, he said he was the goon, so I'm probably going to gamble Ethan. I don't think. Well, gambling Ethan as the goon is not going to necessarily benefit you. Yeah, because I actually that's a good point because goon uh drunks whoever they get. Yeah, you would be drunk, so it actually doesn't it actually doesn't help at all. And in that case, if, I'll. If, I also I'm, don't think Ethan is the goon. Yeah, um, I might gamble bunny. All right. Um, uh, Reaper. Uh, you know what? If you want to gamble me, I'm the moon child. Okay. My, my fun with claiming exorcist, I guess I'm just going to have to abandon. Okay. Um, cool. There you go. All right. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Bye. I see mm -hmm. you go for milk. Milk is who I'm thinking it is. All right. Um, I'm not going to ghost vote on it. Well, um, no, but... I'm not asking you to, but I'm oh, just talking okay. with the dead to see if you got anything, essentially. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't get anything. All right. We'll see you in town. Right. Thank you. Uh, sure. Gambler Professor. Gambler Professor. Uh, Chambermaid Moonchild. Uh, cool. If you are the professor, did you try to resurrect anyone last night? No. Okay. And if I'm the gambler, I gambled myself because first time playing VMR and wanted to be cautious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to call you a coward for personal policy. It's my first, you know what, that's perfectly fine. You can think I'm a coward all you want. Well, if you don't want to be a coward, you can go and use the chambermaid tonight. Okay. You'll live. Unless someone else. Welcome back, everybody. I'll give you guys another minute to talk amongst yourselves before we open up noms for day two. Sorry, Lost, what are you, what are you saying? 
Oh, if I had gone to you first, would you have played along and strung me along as a demon, or would have you just, you know, mm -hmm. laughed in my face? Was I, was I a lunatic minion? Yes, yes, you were. No, well, you still I did not. Are. Bunny gossips the milk of the evil team. Bunny gossips that milk is on the evil team. Gossip heard. Uh, milk gossips that milk is on the evil team. <laughs> <laughs> milk gossips milk is on the evil team. Gossip Wait heard. A minute. Uh, 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 gossips that it's a mastermind guy. <laughs> gossip heard. Reaper, Reaper gossips that the demon is on the right hand side of the board. Gossip heard. Uh, Ethan gossips that Ethan is currently good. Right, gossip heard. Kim gossips that Amanda is on the evil team. Gossip heard. Nominations open. I have heard four outsider claims. That's I'm far too many. Lost. That includes the lost ones. Emma nominates, I think Emma, lost. nominated lost. Emma nominates the lost again. Yep. Oh. All right, Emma, tell us why the loss should be put back on the block today. I think we have too many outsider claims, so I just like to clear things up and make sure this is the mastermind day, set up by a assassin kill, a tinker death, and unintentional kill of the demon. All right, the loss, your defense. I mean, I'm already in this nice white hug me coat. I don't think you can do more to me. <laughs> and I'm a corpse, so. All right. Find a way. Five votes required to put oh, the loss back on the block. It should have been. Lots of hands. <laughs> Too many yeah. hands, probably. FYI, for those yeah, of you who are not aware. Just not and Amanda has been expressing via DM that she's having some voice challenges. And if you didn't notice, Amanda gossiped that Kim was drunk. Six votes is enough. The lost is marked for execution. Second call uh, for noms. Ethan nominates Ethan. And that only helps the demon not... Ethan also. nominates Ethan. Ethan, why should you replace the lost on the block today? Uh, I don't want my uh, demon to lose due to the mastermind game and also i am one of the four outsider claims i am the goon currently good if we want to keep me from becoming evil let's just kill me today um if unless we think there's a godfather in which case let's not but um that's oh, a deal all I right i think you're good right now <laughs> okay five votes are required or excuse me <laughs> Seven votes are required to put Ethan on the block. Six to tie. I think Ethan's self nomin is one of my favorite metas on the server. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, strong, I, too much. I strongly agree with you, Emma, on this. Yeah, I don't think this is a hot idea. Okay, do what you want. One vote is not enough. Ethan is safe for today. Ethan, I voted for you because I do think you're evil. So just heads up. Well, <laughs> I can't really do evil. nothing about it. At least you're evil with me, Ethan. Final That's call right, for nominations. Uh, Reaper nominates Milk. Reaper nominates Milk. <clears throat> Reaper, tell us why Milk should replace the loss on the block today. It's very clear, Milk. Milk, Milk how do you, you feel about that? I mean, I'm going to do the thing I always do, which is no defense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seven votes required to put milk on the block. Six to tie. Interesting that Reaper nominated. I will say, I, I will say you, can kill me, you can kill me tomorrow if this isn't a mastermind day. That was also a meme nom. I had no intention of is actually, there actually getting any milk executed. Information on, on milk being evil? Uh, I mean, the evil team is pushing. Two votes is not enough. Too many outsiders. Quiet, goon. <laughs> okay, okay. If there is a godfather, this could also be a bad idea. Well, they don't get oh. anything from the lost dying again. Yeah, yeah, they don't get anything for here. They don't. If there are no more noms, I will bring the day to a close in ten.
The Lost is re-executed and dies. And congratulations! You re-killed the Lost. Everybody goes to sleep. Okay. I think this is looking pretty good for evil, and even though Amanda is having comms issues, I think that's probably actually helping. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to nominate someone who can't defend themselves. I think uh, <laughs> so, uh, I think Kim's got it out for Amanda for some reason. Well, probably. To be fair, Kim probably correctly suspects that we tried to use her drunkenness to confirm an evil player. That's exact. Well, that plus the. Uh... The play of giving the lunatic evil minions. So she suspected that that would be something that I would do. <laughs> mm, yeah, and she's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, let's go see Aaron. Uh, I'm tempted to make Aaron drunk this evening, but let's see who Aaron picks. Yeah. That might, might be relevant. Yep. All right, Aaron. It's drinking time. Who's it going to be? That it is. Well, Ethan's made a claim of goon, and so whether regardless of whether that's true, I want I want to gamble on the possibility of making him good. So I would like to drink with Ethan, please. All right, okay. Ethan, it is. Thank you. Well, that's absolutely perfect because we make Aaron drunk. He's gonna think he's goon drunk, um, but and he's not. Everybody it's, wins. It's also a big risk because if Lieutenant attempts to kill Eren. <laughs> now the demon's wide open. Of course, unless unless tonight goes really well, right? I mean, if if someone kills Kim, Emma dies, and Shab gets two other deaths, um, including p possibly Eren, although I don't think the Shab will target Eren, that would essentially just leave Eren. So it... Who knows? We could go through a lot of bodies tonight. Yeah, we could. <laughs> um, where are we now? We've... We'd, are we going straight to the Exorcist, right? Yep. All right, let's go see what Jules does. Okay, Jules, it's uh, it's time to exercise. You can't pick the same person you picked last night. So who's it going to be? I've heard of a sailor who I think might try and turn the goon good. So instead, I'm going to throw my briefcase at Emma's house tonight. Okay. Emma, it is. Thank you. Hello. Emma, back with us. Hello. Who who would you like to attack? Oh man, I think tonight I'm gonna go with Emma and Jules. Emma and. Jules. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Dang. Really good choice there. Uh, Emma's death also triggers the grandmother death. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's the. Oh, there's no grandma death token. Bummer. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, currently we've got Jules, Emma, and Kim dying. And now we go see if Reaper wants to kill someone. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, so for, for the viewer's edification, um, if the assassin selects someone who's already dead, do we inform the assassin of that so they can choose nope. again? Or they nope, just... It just says choose a player. It doesn't say choose a living player. So, uh, right. really, it's up to the evil team to try and coordinate these things. Okay, well, I, I have a feeling if he's got it out for anybody, he might have it out for Milk. Yeah, I could totally see that happening. <laughs> let's go find out. Which would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great. <laughs> let's, let's go see what he does. Stubby, stubby? Oh, uh, sure. Who's let's... it going to be? Emma. Emma it is. Dang oh, it. evil team, why do you not talk to each other? Dang! That could have been such a great night. <sighs> I know how 
four reminder tokens on Emma. Grandchild, chosen by the exorcist, killed by the Shabaloth, stabbed by the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, right, so we there's no gossip death happening. Uh, the Moonchild is still alive. The grandmother has died. Emma's dead, so we don't wake her up. No one has no no outside has been killed, so Ethan's not woken up. So that's everything, right? The question is, so I I jump all over the map with this because I don't like well I don't like being meted and I don't like being forced into a common behavior when um, when mechanics say might. For example, recluse always registering as evil or minion or demon. Um, you know, things like that. Spy, always registering as a town folk. Um, and so here we have a case of, theoretically, we could bring Jack back to life, but we don't have to. Yeah, we could bring Jack or the Lost back. I don't think we should bring either of them back, though. Um, I don't either. <laughs> I don't should, yeah, I don't think we should bring Jack back because uh, it's too powerful a kill. And we definitely shouldn't bring the loss back because that's not bluffable as a professor move. Uh, do you know if anyone is bluffing professor? Um, I believe I heard. Actually, no. I heard Reaper was gonna, but now I... Reaper is hard gone for gambler, so no one is bluffing yeah, okay. professor. So at this point, the moment we resurrect someone, it proves that a Shabaloth is in play. So if anything, we should leave it till much later on. Well, uh, right. Plus, well, if we do it, but yeah, the other thing was other than just the might mechanic was looking at the options, right? They're terrible. Bringing back a lunatic is silly, but now you've got an alive confirmed good player. They're never, ever going to yeah. attack. And then same thing with Jack. We bring Jack back to life. He's immediately going to drunk Shab. And yeah, yeah, that's, that's just way too. Yeah. They're both, both bad choices for us. We could perhaps bring back uh, the chambermaid tomorrow night, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. So All right. for now, we've got. I just so we've got Emma, Kim, and Jules. And Jules. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh boy. We got a story for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh Good morning, Ravenswood oh, Bluff. Sorry. Huh? Emma has died in the night. Uh, Kim has died in the night. Oh no. Jules has died in the night. Oh my god. <laughs> that is all. Wow. Is Okay, not as bad. Not as bad as I thought. Uh, hey, Mel, Mel. Okay. Yeah. Um, wanna add Aaron to the pile? Was this? Oh. Uh, as a gangster, do you wanna add Aaron to the pile, Mel? Hmm. Um. Do I have to answer now, or can I delay that for a minute? You I mean, can, I guess I can, can do either that. of those. It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, I would like to. I would like to delay, please. Uh, I, I will answer the question, Lieutenant, but I, I would like to delay. Ethan, you need okay. to talk. Okay. Jones, can we talk to you? Sure. Kim, I, I'm just. Okay, here. To be Ooh. Tell me your, tell me your claims for when you've been good and evil. <sighs> why, why, Emma? And tell me your claims for when you've been good and evil. So maybe, maybe I turned evil last night. Well, not last night, but the night before last. And maybe, maybe I turned good today. Ethan, I think you're the godfather, not the goon. Is that? I don't, I, like I said, you can kill me. I'm good now, so let's do it. I'm all for it. Ethan, who's your demon? Don't have a demon, but if I am we evil, I would know like you're to the know. Godfather. Uh, I don't know how you would know. So you woke after we killed the lost. And evil couldn't have targeted you that night because either the Godfather or the assassin got the kill off. Maybe they targeted you. If they, but if it was the assassin, the assassin killed you. 
and you're alive. So it would have to be exactly oh. the godfather targeted you, or the assassin targeted the wall. All I can say is that I am the goon, and we can kill me today. Because I am good today. You could just tell me who your demon is, and then you could be good in like, a better sense of the word. Have. We've gone over this before, either. <laughs> We've done this I... before. We have not done this before, Emma. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, Ethan. Just gonna change. If I want him, just thought, I'll drink with milk. Why not? Third night, after Ethan's goon claim, I drunk with Ethan. So if he is the goon, he's good for sure, but I am also I'm also drunk and can die today. Uh, so I, am, I am the gambler. Uh, the first night I could gamble, so night two, I gambled myself because yep. first time playing BMR as well as first time playing gambler. Yep, and I last. And last night, I gambled Amanda as the innkeeper. Amanda as innkeeper. All right, and you didn't... I Excuse didn't me. die. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, all right, well, if if you're looking for another gamble, please feel free to gamble me as Sailor. Uh, I think... Yeah, given... We're at down to six, okay. Um. Or or not, yeah. We're, sorry, one, two, three, four, five... Oh. Oh, if wow, it, yeah, if, we, if if I if we're in a gambler if uh, sorry so, so, if yeah, we're right. if we're a shab world tonight we're going to have two deaths we're going to be down to final three tomorrow will be, will be last day if I if I gamble right. any anyone uh, actually re, uh, Reaper any objections if 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 I if I chose you to drink with that way you're uh, yeah. uh go for it all right just that way it'll be it'll be storyteller's choice but there's a chance that that yeah. it will leave it will leave me out. Uh, you know, Only... un 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 unable to die. The storytellers may just say, screw it, and, you know, yeah, it, wherever it happens, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, this will be interesting. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah, 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 sorry, I, I don't have any good leads, I just think... Uh, I, the only thing I'm going to try and do today is call for Lieutenant's exile, because I would prefer prefer not, not to let Melk have a chance to kill me, because, I don't know, I'm, I'm just socially... No, I don't think Milk's a demon, but I'm leaning towards that he's a minion. Uh, yeah. I, the two people who I'm most sus on are Milk and Bunny, personally. Hmm. Okay. That's it is now either Milk or Ethan to me. I think Ethan's claiming to be the sailor uh, who may have drank with Kim, who's claiming to be the grandmother, who doesn't know who her grandchild is because she could have been drunk. Yeah, I think she was, because... She came to me and said, are you the professor? And I said, no. And she's. Oh, I, I Welcome I back, everybody. Uh, you guys have another minute to talk openly amongst yourselves before we open up noms for day three. Okay, uh, so I no, have I reason to believe that I was to believe Aaron's good. Uh, okay. I have reason to believe that I was assassin killed. Um, uh, just Jack will we're, nominate we're the exile uh, for uh, lieutenant uh, for sorry. exile. Uh, I, I am I am still sitting on lieutenant's ability, so. Uh, okay, well, you, well, you've now got a countdown because an exile vote has been initiated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go for mm -hmm. it, Jack. Uh, I, I, in the event that uh, that Lieutenant is an evil gangster, uh, we can't really? let this uh, live any longer. And I'd, I'd prefer my fate not to be in the hands of town, not in the hands of just milk. Okay, Lieutenant, uh, your defense, but you do, you can appeal to either of your living neighbors during this defense if you wish. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. I know nothing about Aaron, so I don't think I'm going to hand him the gun at any point. Um, I feel like I have more reason to trust Milk. He just feels good and reads good. I leave it up to him if he wants to kill Aaron while the vote runs. But I'm good, and it doesn't matter to me if I'm exiled, because I'm good. Okay, Milk, do you want to say anything before we run this vote? I would like to say no. Okay. Sorry, uh, okay. Steve, totally jumped in, in there and did that. No, one. you're good. As you were. <laughs> Seven required guys, everyone gets to vote for free. Okay. I'm just your lovely gangster. 
Uh, the problem is I was just seated to too many wholesome people. That was the real issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eight's enough. Eight is enough. Get out of our town. Beat it. Oh. <laughs> Criminal. <There is. laughs> Nominations are open. There's info from a dead player that mechanically suggests Aaron has to be good and has to be what he's, his actual claim is. Milk nominates Ethan. Milk nominates Ethan. Milk, tell us why Ethan, Ethan should be on the block today. Uh, somewhere between me and Ethan, there's a godfather, almost certainly. Um, I'm not the godfather, so it's Ethan. Um, Ethan's claim on day one was Professor Goon. Um, that obviously doesn't track. Um, I believe that myself, Z, and the Lost are the uh, outsiders in this game, and that Ethan's just the godfather grabbing an outsider role. All right, Ethan, your defense. Uh, I am the goon. I'm good. Let's kill me. Okay, three bows required to put Ethan on the block. Oh, sorry. Also, I believe that the Poe killed last night, so we don't have to worry about a three kill tonight. So killing an evil that's not the demon is okay. I'm not even so sure we've got a Poe. Yeah, I, yeah don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards sh uh, Shab myself, especially after the lo the lost claim. So four votes is enough. Uh. Yeah. Aaron, I know we've been talking about it. Do you mind if I out your role? I think it will be helpful for town. Uh, 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 Emma, I, I will. I've been uh, sorry. I've been hard claiming. I will out my role to town because yeah, yes, I do believe it'll be useful. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'll be brief, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am your sailor. Uh, first night, I drunk with uh, Kim. Kim, have you outed your role, or would you rather keep that to I've yourself? I've outed my role to like everyone. Okay, fair enough. So Kim claimed grandmother. So just inadvertently, I drunk our grandmother. So she does not did not know who her grandchild was. Uh, uh, night. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, just, so yeah. I don't know if we need to go through the rest of it, but just to make clear, Kim got received someone who's not yep. the wrong role for someone, a name in a, the wrong role. So she was mechanically drunk, unless she's evil and dead and lying. Yeah. Well, um, it would have uh, been a strange thing to claim. <laughs> I, th I think, I think Bunny is the kill. If you uh, want to know that. Nice Ethan nominates Milk. Ethan, tell us why Milk should replace you on the block today. Uh, if he is the fourth outsider claim, then he has to be evil in my eyes. The other outsiders is evil, which I don't really see a possibility. Um, again, still fine with dying, but in my eyes, Milk has to be evil. He also gave me a hard claim that was not outsider, so that's something else. All right, Milk, your defense. Yeah, I'm the Moonchild. Uh, if you kill me here, I will pick a player I believe to be evil. Probably Bunny, Ethan, or Amanda. All right, you guys know the drill. Four to tie, five to die. I f feel like Bunny would be a safe pick then. Two votes is not enough. I will shift to final call for nominations. Uh, I just want to quickly gossip that the capital of Florida is Tallahassee. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Gossip I heard. Have no clue whether or not that's correct or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, why does, why does a state have a capital? It's not a country. What does that even mean? <laughs> They're like tiny countries. All of our states have. Uh, capital. Yep. And <laughs> and Ben, don't worry about it. I live in Florida. I got this one. <laughs> There's some of us that wish Florida was its own country. <laughs> Shoot it, As do yeah, some Floridians. Push it away. <laughs> All right. If there are no more noms, we will bring the day to a close in ten. Uh, Reaper, did you do the thing? Just out of curiosity. Uh. -huh. Yes. Thank you for letting me know. Ethan is executed and dies. And everybody goes Assuming to sleep. You're referring to that to a certain to uh, my Yeah. So oh. Steve, is Tallahassee the capital of Florida. It most certainly is. <laughs> okay. So, so gonna cause a death? Yep. 
Oh dear. This uh, could be right, the end. So we, yeah, we <laughs> might have to resurrect someone for final day. Right. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, because the bunny might end up being made drunk. Uh, because yeah, Aaron could drink with bunny. Let's go see what Aaron does. All right. Hello, Aaron. Hi. I'm honestly surprised. I'm still. I am still alive. So. <laughs> but... <laughs> well. That might change because you do wake first. <laughs> yes, I, I do. I do realize, and uh, it's been, well, gentlemen. It has been an honor and a privilege. If I, if I don't, if I don't survive this night, um, <laughs> I, you know what? I'm suspicious of Bunny. I would like to drink with Bunny because even if she is the gossip, I do. We have too few people to let that go off. Okay, Bunny, it is. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, I think basically, if we. This is an interesting situation because if we choose to make Bunny drunk, and then Amanda kills Aaron and somebody, Bunny becomes. Oh no, but Amanda can't kill Aaron in that scenario. Basically, what I'm leading up to is I think we should wait and see what Amanda does before we decide who's drunk in that scenario. Okay. I. So. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say what I would normally do because people will watch this back and I can't allow people to meta me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my instinct is to make Aaron drunk if i were if i was 100 going to be like hey let's do token integrity uh we make aaron drunk we let amanda kill two people uh possibly bunny kills someone and then we resurrect one of amanda's kills last night mm -hmm. yeah but I, I i'm good with uh let's let's see who amanda chooses and then let everything fall right there yeah, yeah let's do that i think let's that works let's go see amanda hello amanda Hello. So, who would you like to kill tonight? Oh boy. I think... I think I'm gonna lean into trying to sell that it's a Poe game. And I'm going to... Kill Jules again. And Aaron. And hopefully it'll play off that... If Aaron is the sailor and actually dies, then Bunny's gossip killed him. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we'll All see right, you in the morning. You. So, so here's what I think. I think we, I think Aaron is drunk and dies. Jules uh, cannot come back to life because he just Bunny's... re-died. <laughs> I think Bunny's gossip kills Milk, Ooh. and then we're on day. Oh yeah, because it really won't matter. Milk's choice. No, not Cause, at all. Because we, uh, yeah, yeah, we go into final three. That's that's essentially what I was thinking. Either that, or having Bunny's gossip kill Bunny. Um, yeah, with milk still alive. And uh, yeah, but I think that I think that a lot more people are suspicious of Bunny than they are of Milk. Yeah, because Bunny so far is a gossip that can't prove that they've done anything. Hmm. And they were well. I mean, obviously, yesterday there was a lot of that talk about Milk and Bunny, Milk and Bunny. So. Yeah, I think with you take one of them. <laughs> that sounds like a song, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like milk and honey. <laughs> that would be a good name for like a pop duo. Oh, it would. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first, folks. Me and Ben starting. <laughs> we're yeah. starting a pop, uh, a, a UK That's pop it. band. <laughs> Steve, Steve's an entrepreneur. Get on it, Steve. <laughs> All, All right. right. So let me just make sure there's nothing else for us to do, right? Other than. Milk. Nope, that's it. Aaron and Milk died in the night. Final three. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. Milk has died in the night. Aaron has died in the night, and it is now final three. Milk, milk publicly picks bunny. Milk publicly right, selects so, bunny. Uh, Tom, before we split off, uh, last night I cho I chose to, dr to drink with bunny. Obviously, I died last night, so I was made drunk. Possibly for game balance reason, or the, or they didn't want bunny to lose her ability for whatever reason. Yeah. Just just getting that out there. So, it's a little is it tough. possible I was given the proper demons? So I mean. Minions, so Amanda and Reaper are the minions? 
you, you saw what demon did you see? Also, I oh. saw Shavaloth and I saw Amanda and Reaper as my minions. Uh, it's a little frustrating that we have God in our resurrection, but I do think it's a Shav game. I think I do too. Kim was probably um, but... either my or who was the other death that oh. night. Jules's grandchild, grandmother, which is why she died. And I think if Amanda is probably the demon with Bunny, probably the minion. But yeah, I, I will just the lost if, if it was. I don't believe you. I, so I came out. I was. Okay. I was the exorcist. Um, night two, I picked Bunny, and I don't think we have any indication of a demon kill that night. And then I died the next night. Yeah, could have been Godfather Tinker Death that night. Yeah. Uh, that's it's just Bunny. Okay. We should we should probably do. Uh, Robin. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Emily, you want to start? All right, a round robin has been requested, so I will facilitate. We will start at the 12 o'clock position and go clockwise because we are playing Clock Tower. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the process watching us, um, this is where everybody goes around and claims their role. Optionally, it is up to them if they want to share any information that they learned during the game. Emma, please kick us off. Sure, I am the chambermaid. Like when I hit Bunny and Kim, got a one which checks out with Kim being the grandmother and Bunny being most evils, except for the Godfather and the DA. Uh, night two, I checked Milk and Ethan and got a one, which checks out with um, their claims, assuming one is the Godfather and the other is an outsider. All right, Milk. Moon Moonchild, I picked Bunny, but it's not going to matter. Kim. I was a grandmother who saw Amanda as my grandchild and as the professor, uh, which she is not claiming to be. Ethan. Goon. Bunny. Gossip. I have gossip all all the days, every day that I possibly can. I was told that I was potentially innkeeper protected. Um, and then that's it. Reaper. Yeah, gambled myself night one. Amanda, oh, sorry, first night I could gamble. I gambled myself. Second night I could gamble. I gambled Amanda as the innkeeper. And last night I gambled myself. Jack. Courtier, my plan was to drink with the devil's advocate, but after the madness at the end of day one, I decided to drink with the godfather. Died anyway. Jules. Exorcist, Bunny Knight 2, Emma Knight 3. Amanda. Innkeeper, Knight 2, I protected Jules and Bunny. Knight 3, I did the same thing. Knight 4, Bunny and Reaper. Aaron. Uh, Sailor, Knight, Knight 1, drunk with Kim, our grandmother, which caused her misinformation. Knight 2, drunk with Milk, didn't know anything about him or what, or what his ability might, uh, might possibly be. Uh, Night three, drunk with Ethan to try and lock him in as a potential good goon. Uh, night four, drunk with Bunny because on the off chance she actually was the gossip, didn't want a gossip kill into th th uh, this few remaining uh, townsfolk. The Lost. Uh, lunatic who saw the Shavaloth token and Amanda and Reaper as my minions. Z. Her died night two, one, died early. And that is your round robin. And with that, nominations are open. I think the only thing I'm losing sense. What was that, Mel? I mean, the hard part for me is I'm having a hard time believing that one of the three people who are still alive is actually good with these claims. Yeah, and, and I mean, the Lost had mentioned that too, that Amanda and Reaper were the minions and then that would make Bunny the demon, but then the game would be over, so. Well, yeah. somebody is uh, lying about being an outsider, right, Milk? There's four outsiders on the table right now. Yeah, I mean, what, there's, a dead, there's a dead evil between me and Ethan, so I mean, there, I, I, I know mechanically there has to be, there has to be a good left alive. I'm just having a hard time believing it. I'm sorry that it's me. I don't buy into the role where Bunny's good. That's why I didn't goss. That's why I didn't gamble her last night. Yeah. I mean, 
If I I don't want to <laughs> do any weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Amanda might be when, I, but when I came to her and I was like, "Are you the professor?" She was like, "No." So but I didn't get to talk to her until she'd already talked to a handful of people. So. Yeah. Amanda, who did you who did you protect night? Who did you protect night two? The first two nights, I protected Jules and Bunny. I know Jules died while I protected him. That's why I talked to him. And I think I either I was drunk poisoned somehow, or he was assassin sniped. Well, there's no... I don't think there's yeah, any source of poisoning. But... You. I think all three of these players are evil, but I know one of you or Ethan is, so that's very confusing. Well, I do know that Reaper lied to me. He said he was either the granny or the pacifist, and he turns out to be the gambler. So that's my vote. I think it might be Reaper. Yeah, weirdly, I, I actually think Reaper is the most good of the three. Yeah, I think... I cannot believe I'm saying it. I think it, our fate lies in your hands, Reaper. Reaper, um, our fate is in your hands. Do it, hands. Reaper. Do it. I, I have... If, okay. <laughs> Mechanically speaking, unless there was a way that I could have been drunk on the night where I gambled Amanda, I think that it has to be Bunny. So Reaper nominates Bunny. Reaper nominates a bunny. Reaper, is there anything you'd like to add to your accusation? Uh, I have mechanical confirmation, unless I unless there's a way that I could be drunk, in which, like, Amanda, in my opinion, has to be, in my eyes, is confirmed as the innkeeper. Um, I think at some point we probably executed the assassin. Um, yeah, I think Bunny is just the demon at this point. All right, Bunny, your defense. So I am the gossip, and the first person I talked to, I think it was Reaper, because it was going to Town Square vibe, and I told him, Reaper, I am going to gossip every day until the town executes me. And I'm going to make it as true as I can possibly be. So this is what the town decides? Then please kill me. All right. Two votes required to put Bunny on the block. Trust we just keep this up. at three. Uh, we can't no, trust Ethan to leave his hand up in these before. Yeah, so. it has to go four. It has to, okay. If we want, if bunny we want, that and, uh, is we, marked we for execution. Before, we can't trust Ethan. Not bunny. Oh is there, gosh. Is there a? Is there a? Is there? Is there a way we got two kills last night? Uh, Out, bunny's outside of. Uh, bunny gossip is absolutely gossip. true. Well, you know I'm, my gossip oh, is true. Uh, so Shab, yeah, Shab got you. Uh, I'm slightly uncomfortable with group. Reaper confirming Amanda. Is no one else uncomfortable with this? Oh yeah, <laughs> totally <laughs> uncomfortable. Only person Reaper gambled. That Milk or Ethan was both I'm evil. One of them had to be evil. I would be so confused about why. What's going Bunny on? With all three nominates of these evil Bunny nominates Reaper. Bunny nominates Reaper. Bunny, uh, tell us why Reaper should replace you on the block today. Um, but this is just giving town another option. Um, if you don't want to lose, I mean, we're still going to lose the moon child if he's the moon child picked me. So this is it. Do what, what you will. All right, Reaper, your defense. No defense. We've already won. All right. Five <laughs> votes required to put Reaper on the block. Four to tie. I should have pushed for your <laughs> your death more, my grandchild. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Yeah, I was no. never your grandchild, we've established. <laughs> I know. I should have pushed for him more. I Doesn't couldn't matter. trust you. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. It was Zero is not enough. Amanda, would you like to nominate yourself? No, I'm good. good Alright, in that case, Bunny is executed and dies. And congratulations, Reaper. You and Amanda and Ethan have won! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I realized it at the last second. Yeah. You realized when my gossip was true that I was like, here we go. I'm so, you know, I don't know why I didn't push for Amanda's death more. When I talked to Aaron the second night, I was like, yeah, Amanda's evil. I have her marked on my grim as evil and not my grandchild. <laughs> Well, we uh, we rolled the dice when, when quite a bit in the beginning of this game when Ben and I were chatting about what to do and who to show what. It was it was a big risk <laughs> that we kind of 
yeah. painted evil into a potential corner there, and it was very amusing to watch it all play out. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to watch this one back. This is going to be great. <laughs> we should probably do the roll for it. Uh, yeah, you want to do it or you want me to do it? Um, I, yeah, I'll have a go. Okay. Um, so we had Kim, the grandmother, whose grandchild was Emma, the chambermaid. However, <laughs> oh, no. uh, on night one, Aaron, the sailor, drank with her, and we thought, hey, uh, the Shabaloth's almost certainly going to claim Professor because they're a Shabaloth. Let's tell Kim that Amanda, the Shabaloth, is the Professor. Uh, but to our, to, our, to our surprise, Amanda chose to go with Innkeeper, uh, but that was a good thing in the end because Aaron and Kim quickly figured out that Kim was likely drunk, uh, which which made Amanda's an, a, a, Amanda having no attempt whatsoever to lie about being the professor actually I think worked out in Amanda's favor. Uh, we had Milk the Moonchild, who uh, correctly stated that there was at least one godfather between them and Ethan. Ethan was the godfather who, on the one night that they were able to kill someone extra, actually attacked Z the Tinker, responsible for that one death. Uh, the other two deaths that night were Amanda the Shabaloth killing people. We had the Lost, the Lunatic, who was shown two actual bluffs and the Exorcist for their bluffs, and were told that Amanda the Shabaloth and Reaper the Assassin were their two minions. Reaper the Assassin attacked Emma uh, in the night, but Emma had already been killed by the Shabaloth that night, which is why we only had three deaths in that night. Uh, the third death was, of course, Kim dying because her grandmother Emma died. Uh, Lieutenant, the good gangster who was never sat next to a single evil player the whole game and did not kill anyone, so well done, Lieutenant. Um, Emma the Chambermaid, who did chambermaid things. Bunny the Gossip, who made incorrect gossips every night except for the final night of the game. And that night, uh, Bunny gossiped and killed Milk with the gossip because Amanda the Shabaloth attacked uh, Aaron, who was living, and Jules, who was dead. Jack the Courtier successfully drunk to Godfather for all of about 15 seconds <laughs> uh, and then was killed by Amanda the Shabaloth. And I think that covers everything. The evil team's bluffs were Professor, Innkeeper, and Gambler. That was Bad Moon Rising. Yep. The Thank only thing much, that I, yeah. I noticed Great game. was there, there was uh, some mild frustration, at, understandably. However, we actually broke it down during the game. Our opportunities to res people would have been backbreaking for the game. Yeah, I think also it's important to note that a demon's ability, generally speaking, should not be used to benefit the good team because they're a demon. Uh, so <laughs> unless the good team are like really, really just about to lose or something, um, uh, generally speaking, you want to make Shabaloth Resurrections at least somewhat neutral, ideally. But that is my opinion. That's not that's not in the rule book or anything. That's just my subjective opinion. That's just the the master guess, storyteller who's who's run more games than anyone ever and works for the company that created the game's opinion. But yeah, that that was the other thing. Yeah. Right, that was the thing. It was we wanted to make sure that we got it to final three, obviously, in the way that it worked out. You guys will see I, when you watch it back. I'm I do just, have a quick question though before we wrap up or continue the the comments before we wrap up and that is for ben do you have time for us to share with you our kaboom experience let me answer that with a question steve can i play absolutely you yeah. can play <laughs> Brilliant. We okay. insist. yeah wicked all right so set up a game uh i'll jump into my seat i'm gonna go for a quick break uh I might grab a beer, actually. Uh, so I'll be right back in like three minutes. So.